Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining the concert tonight. It's a real pleasure for me to be able to perform this music for you. I want to say thank you to the Bloomingdale School of Music Administration team and to Mark Pelequin for putting this together. The program I'm going to play tonight is a combination of music from the Renaissance period and one contemporary composer from Puerto Rico. I will open the program with two fantasias, two very short fantasias by Francesco da Milano. Uh, Francesco da Milano was an Italian composer from the Renaissance period. His music is originally for the lute, but it works very well on the guitar. I enjoy playing this music a lot and teaching it to my students. I especially like these two fantasias. They're very short, but there's a lot of things happening. Um, they're almost like short stories. Um, and I really enjoy the counterpoint and the imitation in, uh, in these two fantasias. I hope you enjoy the program tonight and thank you for um, joining us. are by the Spanish composer Luis de Milan, also from the Renaissance period. His music is originally composed for the vihuela, which is a very similar instrument from the lute, but the vihuela was popular in Spain. Um, what I really like about these two fantasias are, they're, you'll notice that they're very different from the first two I played. I like that the melody is very divided by cadences, which are these resting points in the music. Um, and the composer kind of kind of like plays with the expectation that he creates in the in the audience and and for me as a performer um, I like to play with the expectation that you know that there's a cadence coming soon um, and he creates this really beautiful arches of melodies in between the cadences um, so these are two fantasias by Luis de Milan <laughs>
next two pieces were composed by Leonardo de Urbida, who is a guitar player and a composer from Puerto Rico. Both of these pieces are in the style of danza or Puerto Rican danza, which is a genre that originated in the early 19th century in Puerto Rico. This music was originally meant to be danced to uh, by couples and it was usually performed in, in, in many different types of ensembles, but mostly marching bands or military bands. And eventually this evolved, this kind of music evolved into concert music, um, mainly for, for solo piano. But it's very common to play it on the guitar. And these two pieces were originally composed for the guitar. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to this concert tonight. I hope you enjoy the concert. It is a real pleasure for me to be able to play for all of you. Have a good night.